survival This here I'm sitting on is a Datsun 1600 rally car my dad grew up driving. I've got the passion, my brother has the passion, did my first rally in a Datsun 1600. So through the genes and the addiction I've got with this rally car, I want to build my own. So I've gone pretty deep, bought a Datsun 1600 a few years ago, just used it in autocross, but now I want to turn it into a full-fledged rally car. The Alpine Rally is coming up soon, the end of the year, and I've always looked at that event through when my dad used to do it in these similar cars and always wanted to do it. Pretty excited to go out in this venture, but it's a pretty massive one as well. So we're going to put a lot of effort in, try and build the ultimate Datsun 1600 rally car through the club rally car rules, and let's see what we can do. Done. One of the holes in the floor now. Um, these brace sections, we've still got the firewall to go. Uh, there's a bit of rust in there. But yeah, some more braces. Um, getting this guard on now, which is good. We've replaced this inner wheel arch in there. And this lower section, and you see the wheel arch in there as well. Uh, we've seen sealed that now too, so. Yeah, it's starting to get there. Are there just the um, the boot mounts? I'm trying to you know, trim them off, get every bit of weight out of the car we can. That's what it's all about. That's cheap horsepower. Oh, this is phase two of the Datsun build. You can see it's in a different shed this time, so it's at Bendio Tire Centre. Uh, when I had a Targo, Targa and all the different refuse on, uh, we brought it down here so Mark and Scott could work in the car and get it up to speed. So they've been doing a lot of work, uh, mainly welding the rust, getting the Hollinger gearbox fitted into the car. Uh, that's in now and also getting the seat mounts done and into place. And we've got the Ross Performance dry sump kit now as well. So uh, Mark's been fabricating that into the boot. Um, and our friend Troy's also been making the fuel tank fit uh, in around those new oil lines. So the car's coming along, um, but also the date of Alpine's coming along quick. Uh, it's now the middle of June. I've uh, still got a few months until the Alpine started in December, but we want to test the car before that as well. So keep pushing on and keep the action coming. Uh, so we just measured the center line on the car and measured all the suspension pickup points off the cross member and the front and the rear and then we put the rear arm in and we measured the mounting points of the rear arm as well and I don't totally understand it all but the reason we did that is because we want to change this rear cross member to get a better geometry and better traction on the ground so yeah, we put all the sticky tape on the ground. Ian's gonna formulate all that, put it into the computer, and we're gonna hopefully come up with some new pickup points uh, for the rear trailing arms, and we'll see how we go.
some of the exciting stuff now with the build. So this is our C125 Motec dash. Uh, so Mark's fitted that up into here and then it actually bolts to the column. Uh, so it'll be poking through the steering wheel. Um, so we can have our gear in the center and have state and road mode. Our temp gauges and everything will come up on that dash. And then our change lights across the top. So that'll be pretty cool to have. Uh, we just go around. Yeah, around there and around there and back here, couldn't I? quarters and then it'll be time for some undercoat paint. Uh, we haven't got the new engine yet so that's been a bit of a delay uh, getting all that set up so we're just going to get it back and keep working on it because it's only what, middle of August now so not a lot of time to prepare for Alpine and we want to do some rallies in between so we're going to keep pushing on with the build and, and get that big smile on my face when I get to drive it. I'm just bringing you now to where we've moved the car and Jamie who works for me in the earth moving business is actually a panel beater by trade as well which was really handy so we'll go into his shed and we'll show you where we're up to much wrapped up what we've done in the engine bay. We've just got to drop the new SR20 in with the VE head, make sure that fits. Uh, then when we come through the car, you can see it's pretty much ready for primer. Uh, all the tunnels being done for the Hollinger gearbox. Much higher in here. Uh, we're going to have that fiberglass dash in place. Uh, spare wheels in the back, in there. This here looks a bit strange, but that's actually the mount to hold our dry sump tank. So that's going to go in there and just drilled some holes to be lightweight. Uh, you can see now all these panels have been replaced. It's a 51 year old car, so it's been full of rust. And come around and see the other side, James just put this guard on now. So you can see the other side will come up the same, but it's quite tricky in the back here where we've got to stitch it in. Come through to the front of the car. It's a bit this is where I'll be sitting, so I can't wait to drive it as you can see. Um, we're going to be as far back as possible in this car, which is quite unique to the Datsun. I looked at a lot of other cars, we've put the roll cage right back on the rear seat mounts. So that allows me to sit back 100mm further, so the centre of weight should be better. And we're looking to really get that rear traction, which the Datsun 1600 lacks a bit of rear traction. So we've worked pretty hard on that with the car. Uh, we're going to have MCA suspension all round. Uh, we'll show you in the second build, but we're going to have some pretty cool front end and steering combination there from different parts and makes of cars. So Alpha Motorsport made us up these really cool lightweight bumpers. As you've seen the Datsun 1600s, B510s, they have really heavy front bars. Uh, so Mark at the new tyre centre made us up some nice mounts. Um, so on that side, so that'll just sit in there. Be pretty cool because so we still wanted the classic look of having the bumpers but we didn't want the heavy weight um, so yeah, they're only a couple of kilos which is really cool uh, we've got, it goes across the front of the car uh, 
right hand. These are our um, front guards. So these are fiberglass as well. Pretty durable, pretty heavy duty stuff. Um, Alpha Motorsport do really good gear. On the, down in Phillip Island. I'm going to take this out. And then we just made and reinforced this just to hold it in place. And that's on there. It'll look pretty trick. And it just keeps the car looking as it did before. And then we're going to have a body kit go on the outside of that, but we're not going to show you that just yet. That's a wrap of our first Stats and Build video. Hope you've enjoyed it. We showed you a lot about the car we're building for Alpine 2019. I'm super excited and passionate about this build. Uh, Jamie's been working away there doing the rear quarters. We'll have that together soon. Putting some paint on the car, dropping the engine in. Can't wait to hear that sound. So we want your information as well. We want you guys to get involved. So comment below. We want to come up with a name for the car pretty soon. So it's going to have an SR20, a lot of noise, and that Datsun Heritage. So give us some ideas, comments, and we'll probably throw in some team gear for the best name. Cheers.